Hello, and welcome back to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this Code in 5 Minutes, we're going to continue on our last Code in 5 Minutes, where we looked at a fidget spinner. And this is what that looked like. I'll refresh here. We have a spinner that we can spin. Whee! Isn't that fun? And we were doing this based on an App Inventor tutorial about a fidget spinner. We had a request to see if Zim could make this in less code or what have you. Um, in App Event Inventor, there's a place where you can find all of the parts that you insert into this like building block code, just like Scratch, but sort of like perhaps a slightly more grown up version of Scratch. I'm not sure. In, in Zim, uh, we go to the docs. That's, that's one place. There's a variety of places. But if we open up the Zim site at zimjs.com right here, there's all different types of things that we can make there. You can start reading in on them. And when you go into them, there's a more section. And the more section talks about more of the things that we can use to build with. However, all of the things that we can build with are in the docs right here. So we were using a swiper, swiper. So if I type in swiper, there, there's the swiper. And here are the various parameters of the swiper that we were using. We also have properties of the swiper right here, the type, the target, the, um, the property that we're changing, a desired value, the sensitivity, it's damping. We're going to be changing the sensitivity and the damp right there, those two properties, with some sliders and dials. Uh, if you want to know what sliders and dials are, I'll close this section. So basically, Zim is sort of organized. That, the, the, the swiper is a control, but the sliders and the dials are up here in what is called the, not the methods, but the display objects. So there's various shapes, or here's various shapes. Here are the components. So this is all the things that we can build with checkboxes, radio buttons, labels, panels, panes. Sliders and dials. So there's a dial right there. We can open that up and affect the dial with all of these types of things and read about how it works and get examples. But we're actually going to cheat a little bit and we're going to use a list. The list is in here as well somewhere. You see a list? List, 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 list. There it is right there. And the list is like a stack of things, or it can also be a horizontal list. The list is a stack of things, and there's some special things that we can stack. We can stack any display object. Usually it stacks test, text, like it's a, a list of text. That's your standard list. But down below here, there's some uh, secret parts, so various list items. So there's a list of a slider, and that's going to give us a slider and a little number next to the slider that says what the slider's at, and it's going to stack these in a list. So this is what I'm using. And, you know, you wouldn't, of course, know to come here and find it. You might, you should certainly start with the components if you're interested in components. Uh, but there's all sorts of ways to learn Zim. For instance, if you go to, back to the Zim site here, at the bottom is Zim School right here. Or you can even look at the, the kids. <laughs> you know, if you want to start easy, there's the kids. It's got a lot of stuff in it um, and nice and easy. But the school is here, and here's the first lesson is on display object, and that's, that's where you find your components, and we help you build with those components. We're using configuration objects all the time, and this lesson is on that as well as animation. We've got functions and events, abstractions. Uh, down below further are your controls. So here's your various controls, and these are all sorts of special things like ooh, transforms and layouts and pages and dynamos and accelerators, swipers. There's the swiper, motion controller, particle emitters, animating to sound, all, all that kind of exciting stuff you can read about in here. And that's how you know how to find stuff and how to build stuff with Zim. So that's just a little bit of an intro in there. Right now, we're going to build some controls right down there with the list using the special list elements of a slider to be able to control the damping and the sensitivity of this, like they did in the App Inventor uh, tutorial. OK, so let's start that timer. Boom, boom, boom. And what we want is a list, as mentioned. So we'll come down into the code. There's the spinner and the swiper. 
we're going to be controlling the swiper so that it, it, its properties are different. And we can do that in a list. So that would be const list is equal to a new list like this. And we'll drop it down into the Zimduo technique so we can specifically access the width if we want of something like the stage width. That would be good, but the, 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 the list has a little border and I want to get just get rid of the border, so I'm going to say plus four, and that means it'll be a little bit wider and we can center that on there in the bottom. So now the list part of it is an array of items. And you could put an array of strings and you would get a list of strings. But we're going to use the list.slider, that's a, what's called a static method, that will give us a slider for the speed. And what should we say about the speed? It can go from 0 to 20. Right now we've got a default speed roughly of the sensitivity, that's what we're affecting, of 5. And so we'll start off with a, a value of 5. That's the starting value. We'll say null for, a, I think that's the step. That will just default to a continuous step. And we'll say null for what function to call, because we're going to hook this directly up to the swiper's sensitivity. Sensitivity, like that. So there's the first thing in the list. The second thing in the list will be another one of these things, dot slider, slider. And this one we're going to call, uh, let's see, the friction maybe, friction, it, or damping. We tend to use the word damping. It's um, roughly the same thing. And why don't, we're going to get to some things further on, so I'm going to drop this down into the Zimduo technique. And so this, this first one is called the label. This is what we're seeing, the label. And the squiggly brackets go there. And then we want to see the min of, the reason why we're doing something different here is we're going to do a min of 0 0.01. These numbers are quite small for the for the damping. So and a max of 0.2. Uh, and instead of um, showing 0 0.01 and 0 0.2, we're going to substitute other values. And I'll show you how. Anyway, our starting value. This is our starting value will be 0 0.1. That's the default damping on a swiper. So I'm going to comma that, and then the object that we're going to be changing is indeed the swiper still. And the property that we're changing, property, is the, uh, the damp, damp property. But we are going to factor that by 100. So we're multiplying these numbers by 100 so that it looks up a little, so that it looks a little bit better in our, our number stepper. That's kind of optional if you're going to do that. Let's take that whole list now and we'll position the list at the bottom. Uh, so zero from the center, comma zero from the bottom, and we then say center and bottom. And that adds the list at the bottom and let's see what we get. There's the list, but one of the problems with the list is it's all ready to scroll. So we can swipe on that to um, scroll the list, and we've only got a list of two. I don't know if it went to the bottom. Oh, yeah, it did go to the bottom. It's just our, our background color is the same. Okay, so um, that's on the list. So that's in here. We can say to the list, swipe colon false. Now we can't swipe on that list to make it move. And indeed, we can no longer swipe on it. But does our fidget swim, swimmer, <laughs> fidget swimmer looks like it's too low on the page now, so we'll go up to the fidget swim, spinner <laughs> and we can uh, dot move, or for move, a zero in the X, and we'll go like minus 80 or something like that, because we could put a label up there. It might be nice to put a label up there of a spinner. So, well, if we do that here, it would be oh, const label is equal to a new label. We don't have to put that in a constant label. And that label will be spinner or fidget, we'll call it. Sometimes I like to, I'm going to hold down the, almost hold down the control key in here. How are we doing for time? 440. Do I have enough time to do this? And let's, uh, there we go. And we will dot pose that. Oh, it's close. I'm going to run out of time. Pose 0 and uh, 50. Um, 
from the center. There we go, and let's stop that timer <laughs> right on the five seconds. Right in the five minutes. <laughs> Did that in five seconds. Well, actually, let's see if this works though. <laughs> so quickly, good. We got a fidget in there. We're operating the fidget. I might have wanted to move that up just a little bit more than uh, than eighty. Um, so we're moving that up. Good. Uh, how about a hundred? And how does that look? Does it even look like it's... Oh, we're center edging after that's what's happened. Okay, so there we go. We were recenter. We're center edging after. We want to move it after we center edge. And let's try that 80 again. Yay, that looks pretty good. Maybe even a 70. There we go. So my apologies there. So there's our fidget spinner. Let's see what these numbers give us then. If we go to a speed of zero, I can't even move it. If we go to a speed of 20, oh, it kind of like whips quite quickly. And what about the friction? What if we make it like whip forever? We'll bring the friction right down. Oh, look at that. Isn't that neat? Ooh, okay. And if we bring the friction up, then it uh, will bring the speed down, bring the speed down a little bit. There, it sort of finishes its its uh, speed, speed right away and, and roughly in the middle. Nice. What do you think? Isn't that cool? So we put in those controls there. We could have made our own custom sliders and dials. We could have done this with a dial. The dial doesn't come with a name. Slider doesn't come with a name. Neither of them come with values like this. And by the way, the values as well, we can um, click on them and make them move up and we can move their mouse to move them up and down as well. So that's a stepper without the little arrows. So this is kind of a combination of Zim components all put in a list to make what uh, dat GUI does. There's this thing called dat GUI in HTML components that has this cute little you know pull down of all these things. So we created uh, those extra bits on the list to be able to accomplish roughly the same thing. But usually our components are more integrated. So let me give you an example of integrated components. Ooh, desktop reveal. And sorry, if you hear something like clicking behind me, it's my cat wants in. It's been wanting in this whole five minutes and it's been making me nervous. Mm. <laughs> it was like, come on, cat. Uh, so, hey, Zim cat, there we go. <laughs> so what was I showing you? Oh yeah, uh, I wanted to actually go to uh, code pen. So here's code pen. And let's see, we were doing a search on noise. I don't want to not do a search on noise, although I do see what we wanted to see. So if you come into zimjs.com on code pen, here's an example of our dials and sliders. So this dial is making that curvature less or really, really curved like that. And then this is changing the speed of it. So here we have the speed changing. Look at that, it actually reverses the speed. So if we have more of a blooby thing, we can go backwards and forwards. So anyway, th these are dials and sliders and look at how we integrate them into our art. That's what Sim can do. We, can, we have beautiful components that we integrate. It's not just processing or P5JS sitting up here with this little dat GUI thing up here. We're proud of our interfaces and we integrate it in the things that we make. That's Zim. So come on into Zim, zimjs.com. This has been a code in five minutes with Zim. And I am Dr. Abstract. We made a fidget spinner in two code in five minutes. So check out the last one if, uh, if you didn't see that. Um, by the way, I meant to say in the last one that we set our background color to yellow because we had a black spinner. <laughs> Take it easy. Ciao.